In this video, we're going to be having a look at the date time format within Hornbill. Now, throughout Hornbill, there's different locations where you can see the date and time displayed. For example, here uh, in the news feed, or if we go over to the service manager and look at the uh, request list, we can also see one location straight away where the date and time format is displayed. If we open up an individual incident, um, again, date and time formats are used throughout. Now, for each individual using Hornbill, uh, they can go in and set their own personal preferences by going to their account settings. So under the regional settings, there's options here for the date and time format. By clicking on this list, we can now scroll through and see the different options. And this is everything from uh, selecting a 24-hour clock down to using a 12-hour clock uh, showing the a.m. and p.m., or even changing the order um, and displaying the time first and the date second. Uh, my personal preference is the using the, uh, the three-letter abbreviation for the month and, uh, and the 12-hour clock, so I'm just going to select that option. Now, in some places, the date uh, can be displayed on its own, so this uh, provides an option how um, you'd like uh, dates displayed um, and again, the same with the time formats. When time is displayed on its own, uh, you can pick your preference on how that's displayed. Saving these settings then do prompt you to, uh, to re-log back into the system. And this will bring you back through to the login screen. And once logged back in, we can now go through and view um, our date formats. And we can see here that this has now changed to my three-letter month abbreviation and using the 12-hour clock. And here again we see on the request list. And as we go into the incident, we can again see that that format's changed.